Okay, so this video is going to be something um, a little bit different from what I normally do. So, I wanted to do another Wings of Fire video. And this is going to be totally unscripted and a little bit improvised. So, it might not be as smooth as I would like it to be, but I'm going to try and shoot this video anyway. So, what this video is, is that I'm going to um, go over the hypothetical favorite bands of some of the main Wings of Fire characters if the bands that I like existed in their universe. So I, I thought this would be pretty fun to do. It's mostly rock and metal bands, but I think there's like one ska band in here. So I think this will be really interesting and fun to see what bands these characters would like. So, so first we have Clay. And the band I chose for him is the Aquabats because they're like a comedy group that dresses up as superheroes and they make a bunch of songs with positive message and also really funny songs like Martian Girl, Cat with Two Heads, and Burger Rain. Like Burger Rain would be Clay's favorite song. So like they're like totally upbeat and positive. And then there's like also some songs that talk about food like Pizza Day, then there's Pool Party, lots of fun songs in their discography that I think Clay would really like. And as a side note, I think if the Aquabats existed in the Wings of Fire universe, they'd be a bunch of silly sea wings. So yeah, Clay, the Aquabats, I think he would really, really like these guys. For Tsunami, I chose Bullet for My Valentine because they're like this metalcore thrash metal band. And like she's very um, aggressive, abrasive. And, like, there's a song called Screaming Fire that's about violence and stuff and fighting. And then, and then there's also songs about um, betrayal and and that kind of stuff. So I think with how abrasive Tsunami is, she would really like Bullet for My Valentine. For Glory, I chose the band Hailstorm because they just have this, um... They're a hard rock band with just, like, this sassy attitude about them with songs like... Love Bites, So Do I, I Miss the Misery. And so I think th um, Hailstone's entire personality would fit Glory's um, sarcastic and sassy personality. And so that's why I chose Hailstone, Hailstorm for Glory. And next we have Deathbringer. For Deathbringer I chose Metallica, the old thrash metal band. Because I think um, the mood of Metallica definitely fits um, Deathbringer's personality with songs like Enter Sandman, One, Sad But True, Wherever I May Roam, Master of Puppets, Battery, like Ride the Lightning, Seek and Destroy. I think those all fit Darkstalker's personality and stuff. So I think they would be Deathbringer's favorite band. For Starflight, I chose the band Tool because um, cause they're pretty quirky and weird, like their early stuff at least, and then they progressively got um, like more smarter and deeper and cryptic. And since Starflight is a nerd and really likes to read scrolls and stuff, I think he would really like Tool because like the newer Tool stuff especially, they're like a band that makes you think with its um, complex lyrics and all that. So yeah, I think Tool would be Starflight's favorite band. For Sunny, I chose the band Skillet. And that's just because they're a Christian rock band with like faith-based lyrics. And they're pretty positive and Sunny had a lot of faith in the prophecy. And so I think Skillet is a band that would um, keep her positive and keep her energy levels up. That kind of thing. So that's why I think Skillet would be Sunny's favorite band. For Peril, I chose the band Disturbed because um, because Peril, um, I think with her fire scale, she's pretty indestructible like one of their songs. And she's also pretty crazy. Like early Disturbed like was crazy new metal stuff. And so I think she would really like that. But also, her, but also Disturbed's newer stuff like songs from the album Indestructible, um, those songs fit Peril pretty well. And also because... And also because Peril has um, mother issues, um, but she would probably like songs like Down With The Sickness and stuff. So, yeah, I think um, Peril's favorite band would be Disturbed, definitely. 
Now, Queen Scarlet, I chose Iron Maiden. I think that's just because she likes some um, fighting. She likes to watch dragons fight and kill each other. And so, like, Iron Maiden has war songs like The Trooper and Run to the Hills and stuff. And so, I think she might be an Iron Maiden fan. Now, Maro's here. I chose the band Meshuga just because he's, like, so brutal that I think he would, like, brutal, um, progressive, heavy music like what Meshuga puts out. And Meshuga is a band that makes this, um, it's like this brutal music, but with complex rhythms, and they use, like, these eight-string guitars to get a deep chugging sound. And I think with, um, with Morris here's personality, I think he would really like Meshuga. Now, Moonwatcher, I chose the band Evanescence because, like, they're this gothic, um, mysterious kind of band. And I just think um, Evanescence would really match uh, Moonwatcher's personality with songs like Everybody's Fool, Bring Me to Life, Going Under, uh, Sweet Sacrifice, Call Me When You're Sober, uh, Snow White Queen, songs like that. And so I, I just think Evanescence really... Um, fits the vibe that Moonwatcher has because they're like a gothic um, alternative metal band. So yeah, that's why I think Evanescence would be Moonwatcher's favorite band. For winter, I chose Linkin Park, but more specifically on um, Linkin Park's early stuff because they're like very angsty. And like in Hybrid Theory, um, the theme was about personal issues and then Meteora has a theme about fitting in somewhere. And he's basically a prince that's an outcast. And so I think um, a lot of Linkin Park's um, early songs and attitude would really vibe with Winter. And so that's why I think Linkin Park would be Winter's favorite band. For King Gachu, I chose the band 21 Pilots because she's young. And I think she would be more into like, like pop music or something like what 21 Pilots does. Well, I mean, 21 Pilots, I think, is a mix of, like, alternative rap, hip-hop, and pop music. And they have a lot of positive messages in their music. So, that's why I think Kikichi would probably really like 21 Pilots. For Turtle, I chose the band Shinedown. I'm not sure how many, how many people know about this band, but they have gotten more popular pretty recently. Like, they started out as this early grunge alternative metal band, but now their newer stuff is more like pop rock. And I think this is the kind of music that that Turner would like, the pop rock kind of stuff. And songs like Second Chance, I think those match his um, whole backstory and his personality, basically. And so that's why I chose Shinedown for Turtle. I think he would really like these guys. Uh, for Kimberly, I chose the band Blink-182 for a couple reasons. One is they're from Poway, California, and I think Sandwings would be from mm, California because California is like a desert place, especially Death Valley. And I also think Blink-182 just matches um, Kimberly's personality perfectly with how upbeat they are and how positive they can be and how they, s and how they have some love songs. Like, that could be suitable for the moon, ble uh, the moon and Kibli shipping. So I think that's why I chose Blink-182 for Kibli. For Darkstalker, I chose Korn or Avenged Sevenfold. I think he would like either one of these bands. Because Korn, um, they're like part metal and part funk and part hip-hop. But they write about some really dark stuff. Like, many of the songs were from Jonathan Davis's childhood, which are pretty brutal. And he, and Darkstalker had a pretty rough childhood, too. So I think he would really like Korn. And then the band Avenged Sevenfold, they also have a dark vibe to him with songs like A Little Piece of Heaven. And, like, Nightmare, Afterlife, Critical Acclaim, Bat Country, Beast and a Harlot. I think he would really vibe with songs like those. So just what I think that's why these two bands would be Dark Soccer's favorite band. Um, for Clear Sight, I chose Nightwish, and it's hard to explain why I chose Nightwish other than I think Nightwish would be a bunch of um, Nightwings that would symphonically sing about like fantasy themes and angels and stuff. 
And so I guess um, Clearsight's pretty smart, too. So I think that's why I chose Nightwish for Clearsight, maybe. And the last one, for Fathom, I chose Toto, because Toto is like um, a rock jazz fusion band that's similar to bands like Journey. And I basically chose Toto for their love songs, because Fathom really likes Indigo, and Darkstalker was trying to um, tell Fathom that Indigo is not for him. But in the end of the story, um, Fathom um, still gets with Indigo, and they have their own Dragonettes at the end of the story. So yeah, I think... F I think Fathom would like bands like Toto and Love Songs, so that's why I chose Toto as Fathom's favorite band. Well, that's it. I had to do a lot of improvising, but I still hope you enjoyed this video and my picks. And you have, and if you have different opinions, um, feel free to put those in the comments below. God bless.